Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Vintage Fountain Pens. Today I have for you an interesting fountain pen made in Italy by a lesser known brand, interesting brand. Today we will talk about this beautiful 1950s model, the Stylus 111 Oro. Oro means gold. This is a beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. It comes in this green celluloid and it reminds me of the shape of the Parker 51. Let's talk about this brand, Stylus. The Stylus company was founded in Turin in 1917 by Emilio Peco and uh, what is interesting about this brand is that it is one of the oldest Italian fountain pens manufacturer. It is older even than much more prestigious brands such as Aurora or Omas. They had um, a quite interesting production of fountain pen. The production was quite good and up to all the 1930s you could say that it was of the highest quality and it was uh, comparable to the other best Italian fountain pen manufacturers. The company was uh, present on the market till uh, mid-1950s uh, but it suffered in that period the effects of the introduction of new materials and the competition of the ballpoint pen and uh, practically the consequent market changes. In 1955, it uh, ceased production and the brand was sold. This brand is uh, lesser known and that leads to um, lesser interest by collectors respect to other brands. And uh, despite being one of the oldest producers in Italy, and uh, having made many products of as excellent quality, stylus pens, uh, they are not so popular among uh, collectors and uh, they are offer, often ignored and undervalued compared to other Italian fountain pen brands. What can I say? I love uh, undervalued fountain pen. It means that uh, for a uh, small collector like me, I can get a quality fountain pen at a good price. And believe me, I got this at a good price. I paid for uh, this beauty around 30 euros, including uh, taxes. So it was a good, good price. But let's uh, check this fountain pen out before we will compare it to other fountain pens from that period. What is quite interesting is this metallic cap. It is, I believe, gold plated. In fact, it has imprinted on it DP2, you can see, DP2, and DP2 stands for double rolled gold. It is a nice gold plating, double rolled gold, and uh, you can see it uh, stood the test of time. Under the clip, which has this interesting, interesting design, we have a small breathing hole and let's see how uh, springy it is the clip. It is a uh, fairly springy, not so uh, springy, but uh, firmly stands in position. At the end of the cap, we can see this uh, jewel, which reminds us of the Parker 51. The celluloid ends in this fake cap because indeed we have a piston filler. The cap is pressure fit 
and it reveals those beautiful beautiful ink windows transparent ink windows in a form of uh, a round in a round form i love that design i've already shown you that on the barrel we have imprinted stylus 111 oro we have uh, here a metallic part interesting part the end of the gripping section is slightly concave and we have the beautiful beautiful 14 carat gold nib we have um, horizontally in italic stylus and in a diamond shape we have 585 the percentage of pure gold 14 karat gold a breathing hole and on the back we have an interesting ebonite feed okay let me show you how the piston works so we unscrew it and if you pay attention to the ink windows you can see the piston okay so this is the fountain pen considering the elements of design the piston filler the ink windows the shape of the parker 51 and the jewel i think that this is a product of the 1950s so the last years of production for the stylus manufacturers i will leave this here and i will compare it with other fountain pens from that period so i will start with the parker 51 from the 1950s early 50s you can see also a gold cap unfortunately i have lost the jewel but uh, you could make an idea of the dimension of uh, those two fountain pens i also have um, much um, not so much older but uh, fountain pens also from italy i have this verbana button filler for, from the 1940s i have this waterman american waterman commando also from the 1940s um, from early 1940s this was made during war time during world war ii i also have a piston filler with a generous ink windows from verbana and this i th um, i think it is from the 1950s also uh, an italian product of the zone of turin i have a german fountain pen a pelican 140 green from uh, 1955 and um, also two celluloid fountain pens this time from the 1960s also from the italian zone of uh, turin and just for comparison i have also a luxury product from the 1987 1988 this is the famous Pelican Souverain M800. I will show them to you side by side and you can make an idea of the proportions of our stylus fountain pen and I will also leave the dimensions of the pen on the screen and um, after this we will do the writing sample and for the writing sample i have a new ink an interesting ink and i think you will uh, love that ink so um we have a green fountain pen let's use uh, ink which is not green but is a turquoise from faber castle it comes in this package fountain pen ink turquoise i think it was uh, quite accessible 
I paid for it approximately 2 euros or 3 euros. Let's check it out. I've already tested it is a quite a nice shade, quite a nice color. So we unscrew the fake cap. Now I will um, get the piston. Okay, in this position, I will open the ink bottle and insert the fountain pen in ink. I simply draw the ink and um, you can see that uh, the um, windows are blackened so it means the ink was drawn in the barrel i have a tissue here let's wipe it clean and i have for you a surprise we will see a flexible nib I was quite surprised to see in this fountain pen a flexible nib, but uh, it was a nice bonus to a very, very lucky purchase. Let's put this here. We will see if it um, caps. Yes, it caps without problems, but you know that I don't like to cap my fountain pens to avoid scratches on the barrel i will leave this aside let's see if it writes yes it writes okay now i will give it a little zoom and i want to show you the beautiful beautiful stylus so it have a stylus model 111 I presume oro which means gold it is of course made in Italy made in Italy it has a beautiful 14 carat 585 gold nib but it, what is interesting on this nib is its flexiness. So I hope you can see, yes. It is quite a flexy nib. I'm sorry, I don't have such a good ink flow. And um, you can see that um, the lines are... Yes, definitely I have a problem with the ink flow um, when I have a piston I uh, simply try to squeeze some um, ink but um, maybe it needs some um, good old um, I will fill it and unfill it or three times and maybe it will be saturated okay let's wipe it clean you can see uh, on the tissue the beautiful turquoise shade of blue it is quite interesting and let's hope that um, this time we'll have a um, steady ink of flow and I could sh uh, show you the beautiful, beautiful flexiness of the nib. It makes it uh, quite special. Of course, not all the people love a flexi, flexi nib. You can see the line variations here and I will try to, to show you other lines. So you can see the lines, we, you can see the variation on lines. So I wouldn't call it a very flexible, but a, certainly a semi-flex nib. Quite a nice fountain pen, 
I love the um, round um, shape of the ink windows. I like the opened nib. Uh, I like uh, even the blind uh, cap. A beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. From a brand that uh, certainly needs your attention, guys. When it's undervalued, you should check it out. You should buy it at a decent price. I can't believe that I found this fountain pen with this beautiful nib and it only cost me 30 euros. For me, it's a pen that um, deserves from 100 euros up. A quite interesting fountain pen. Remember, made in a period when um, this firm has a bad period. We are talking about the last years of this firm. I hope I'm not mistaken, but uh, due to the fact that we have a piston filler with ink windows and um, especially this interesting cap with the jewel over here, I think that um, the Italians had their inspiration from the famous Parker 51, which isn't a, um, a bad thing. I love that they didn't put a hooded nib, but an open nib on this uh, fountain pen. What can I say? I love my uh, latest acquisition. I hope you've uh, enjoyed also my small review of this beautiful, beautiful 1950s uh, fountain pen. As always, I um, wish you to have a nice day. I certainly love this uh, Faber Castle turquoise ink. If you've enjoyed the review, please subscribe to this channel to see more vintage and new fountain pens. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.